guys, Rob from the Off Grid Tiny House. Um, today I'm taking a break from ripping and tearing, and I'm going to start uh, using some chemicals to fill in um, our problem areas here. Um, so I already bleached everything, um, but I'm going to take a rag and wipe the surface area down of all this, all these rivets and the roof area, and. Um, <coughs> start filling stuff in as I go then I got to move this wall panel as I get down further um, and continue on along these rivets and along the roof line there so today I'll be using a uh, rocker guard uh, to do all the work um, I'm gonna use it first before I use the spray foam that I have and it's like a flex seal it's a rubberized coating guys and uh, I have a block of wood that I'll be using here um, to stop the basically the overspray or the drippage from that. So <clears throat> first I'm going to grab my ladder, bring it over here, and then we'll grab a rag or a Actually, I'll just grab a couple paper towels because my rags are at the buried at the other end of the trailer. And yeah, we're not going there. So I'll just fold up some paper towel um, on top of one another. Whoops. After I knock my light down. There we go. Just want to kind of clean the crap off the surface before applying the chemical. So hole here, hole here to fill. I'll, I'll rock or guard them before spray foaming. And go from there. So yeah, as you can see, a little bit of nasty coming out of there, guys. Not good. So, what I do with the board here is I place it up against just like this when I spray and then the drippage falls onto the board and I use this for poke, punching in holes like this. So we're going to do that and go to town. Now I don't know if this has a reaction to my spray foam that's on the wall, this stuff, the rocker guard material. So. Hopefully not. Hopefully all is, goes well. But yeah, that's uh, quite nasty there. So hopefully you guys can see this. I'm going to have to go up one more step, it looks like, in order for me to do this proper. So, wish me luck here. be a real hot day today so so this stuff should cure really well Ugh. as I breathe it in Whew. gross and this is the leftover rocker guard from spraying on the outside of the trailer so not too bad guys not too shabby in my opinion Okay, I shot some through the holes there. We'll see if it has an effect on the spray foam. Hopefully not. But I wore a crappy shirt that I wore the last time I sprayed this stuff. So, should be able to handle it. And this is not the only step I'll be doing, guys. I'm going to be doing, um, uh, obviously, spray foam afterwards over top of all this stuff. So just to let you know. Wow. I can actually probably push those rivets through. That's how bad it is. 
to the outside. If I take a straight blade and a hammer, those rivets will come out easy. So I'll pull the board down, show you guys what we got. All right. So I'm going to do this all the way down. Um, and then this is all going to be spray foamed over top anyways. On top of that. So not too shabby, I think. Should work out okay. So let's move on to the next. Keep my head out of the enclosed space there. I'll have a little bit of missing going on, but that's okay. Some heavy coverage. And then the board's long enough I can get a couple done at a time. Even three done. To chemically seal all the holes in this used transport trailer being converted into a tiny house. Slowly but surely. Slowly but surely. There we go. So the board pretty much helps out in that regard. Um, I want to make sure I get the bottom there. You can see it running. Little run down the walls ain't going to worry about because it's all going to be covered up after the fact. All right? And it clings pretty good. Oops. There we go. Just want to make sure every little gap is co covered, coated. This hole is still poked. I can see the little daylight through there too, so I'm going to hit that again. So far, no crazy reactions with my spray foam, which is a good thing. And should be good. Whew. It's a nasty, nasty smelling stuff. So I got all the windows and doors open in the tiny house for this today. And I get, I'm get i to a point now where I have to move this bad boy out of here before I can continue on. So we'll pause the camera guys. I'll uh, get to doing that. Okay. Because I gotta move this whole thing, or I'll do it on camera. What the hell? So I got my two wall sheets here, wall panels. I gotta move them in unison because they're holding up all my wiring at this point. Now, <clears throat> staying over here Friday, I was thinking about stuff. I'm gonna be running everything in the walls. The wiring that is and clean up all this mess because it's pretty gross pretty gross looking guys gotta do it right all right back we go you guys back here a bit I think would be better then you can kind of see what's going on so we'll line up the three this one look at this you can see right into it I'll put spray foam inside of there though but for now rock and dirt let me switch hands so I can actually do this Coat it, coat it good. Gotta get the bottom of that one a little bit better. There we go. Read it and wait. Any spots that you see showing still, obviously go over it again. 
And this is what I used outside, guys, on the rivets. 